Take Apart Numbers, Lesson 2.8. In Lesson 2.3, we showed how to model taking apart. There are many ways we can take apart a number. We have four in this bar. One, two, three, four. If we take zero away, it's going to stay the same. We still have four in the bar. If we take one away, we circle the one that we're taking away and we cross it out. We can see how many are left. One, two, three, four minus one is equal to three. If we take away two, we circle two and cross them out. We can see there's one, two left. Four minus two is equal to two. We take away three, we circle three, we cross it out. We can see there's one left. Four minus three is equal to one. If we take all of them away and take away four, we circle all four, we cross them out, and we can see there are zero left. Four minus four is equal to zero. We circle the amount taken away and cross it out. Then we can see what's left. We can complete the number sentences. Emma has six cherries. What are all the ways she can share the cherries with her sister? Well, we can take zero away, and Emma will keep all the cherries to herself, and she'll still have six cherries. That's not sharing, though, is it? We can take one cherry away, six minus one, and then Emma will have five cherries and her sister will have one cherry. We can take two cherries away. There'll be one, two, three, four left for Emma and her sister will get two. We can take three cherries away. And there are one, two, three left. Then Emma gets three and her sister gets three. They get the same amount, don't they? We can take four cherries away. She can give her sister four, then she'll have one, two for herself. She can give her sister five. One, two, three, four, five. Then she'll have one cherry for herself. And Emma could give all the cherries to her sister. We'll take away all six. Her sister will get six cherries and Emma will get none. Those are all the ways she could share the cherries with her sister. Do you see what the numbers are doing? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Do you see that? We can look for a pattern and model taking apart and complete the subtraction sentences. If we have five squares in our bar model and we take zero away, we're not going to circle or cross any out, well, then we still have five. And if we take one of them away, then we'll have one, two, three, four left. If we take two away, then we'll have one, two, three left. 
Do you see what's happening with the numbers? 0, 1, 2. So now if we take 3 of them away, there'll be 1, 2 left. Can you see the pattern? 0, 1, 2, 3. And this side's counting down. 5, 4, 3, 2. So do you know what would go here? The next one in the pattern? We took away none. We took away 1, then 2, then 3. We can take away 4. Do you see what's happening here? 5, 4, 3, 2... There's only one left, so that would be one, and it fits the pattern. And then in the last one, we can take them all away. We take away five. And can you see what would happen here? We can see there's none left, and it went five, four, three, two, one, zero. See the pattern? that the numbers made because we took them away in order. Emma has nine pencils. She shares them with her sister. Draw two ways she can share the pencils. And the important thing we need to know is that she has nine pencils. The other important thing we need to see is that it wants two ways. And we need to draw them. So we can make lines for the pencils. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it doesn't want any particular way. It wants us to think of a way. So we could do four pencils and five pencils. Nine minus four is equal to five. And nine minus five is equal to four. See what happened? We could do it again. We can make lines for pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Emma could take three pencils and then give the rest to her sister. Then her sister would have one, two, three, four, five, six. Nine minus three is equal to six. And nine minus six is equal to three. See? Tim has seven cookies. He eats one cookie. Then he eats two more cookies. How many cookies does Tim have left? We can make circles for our cookies. He has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He eats one cookie. So we'll cross it out that he ate that one cookie. Then he eats two more cookies. So we'll cross out one. Two. How many cookies does Tim have left? One, two, three, four. He has four cookies. We start with the number that it gave us. We took one away, and then we took two more away. And then we saw what was left. Four cookies. Our next lesson is going to be subtraction from ten or less. That's lesson 2.9, and we're going to continue talking about subtraction. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.